Hello everybody. Today, I'm going to go over how to get your Pro Tools audio to play inside of your Zoom meeting. This tutorial is for Mac OS, and I'll be doing this on Mac OS Catalina 10.15.6. This should work on Mojave and any earlier versions as well. The first thing you need to do is download the Zoom desktop application from the Zoom website if you have not already. From there, we'll open up the Zoom application, and then we have to make sure we have the Zoom audio device installed. To do that, we can just click Share Screen on the main page. You'll get a window that looks a little bit like this. If not, you'll get something like this. Please follow the steps on screen. After we make sure we have the Zoom audio device installed, we need to navigate to Audio MIDI Setup. To do that, we open up a Finder window, go to Applications, scroll all the way to the bottom, click Utilities, and then click on Audio MIDI Setup. Once we're inside the Audio MIDI Setup window, we're going to want to navigate to the bottom left corner to click on the plus. From there, Create Aggregate Device. Then we'll see this guy pop up. Afterwards, we'll click on its name and name it literally whatever you want. Since I'm going to be using this to connect Zoom to Pro Tools, I'm going to name it Pro Tools Zoom. Next, we're going to go over to the right side and select our main output device that we use when we're inside a Zoom meeting. Personally, I like to plug my headphones directly into my Scarlett interface. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and then I'll go to the top to make sure the clock source is correct. It should say Scarlett 18i8 USB, since that's the one I clicked. If you're using headphones or your MacBook speakers, you'll click those instead. Then, we'll go back to the bottom, and we'll click on Zoom Audio Device. So our two sub-devices should be our main audio output device with Zoom, and Zoom Audio Device. Make sure that the clock source is still correct. After that, restart your computer. After restarting our computer, we're going to want to open Pro Tools. From here, we go to Setup, Playback Engine, then under the Playback Engine drop-down menu, we'll click on the device we created earlier. Do not click Zoom Audio Device. This will corrupt your session. Since I named mine Pro Tools Zoom earlier, I will click on Pro Tools Zoom. Then just click Yes to the prompt and click OK. After updating our playback engine, we need to change our I.O. settings. To do that, we go to Setup, I.O., and then we navigate to the Output tab. After that, we'll click on Default and then we'll be looking at our default names. Since I'm using a Focusrite Scarlett interface, I may have a lot more outputs than you do. But no matter what kind of output device you're using, you'll want to go to the output that's on the very bottom and rename it to something that you'll remember. So I'm going to name mine Zoom. This is the output path that connects directly to Zoom. After that, we'll click OK. And then I'll change the outputs to my tracks to Zoom. Remember, you can hold down the Option key if you want to change all of your outputs at the same time. After that, you should be good to go.